Want to learn how to use X? We're here to help. I'm Jessica from TechBoomers.com, and in this video, I'll teach you the basics of how to use X, formerly named Twitter. Now let's get started. If you haven't installed the X app yet, you can download it for free from the App Store. If you previously had the Twitter app, you'll already have switched over to X. Once you have the X app installed and have set up your account, this is what the X app homepage looks like. The For You feed will feature trending posts and post X things you'll like based on your activity on the app. The following feed will feature posts and reposts by people you follow. To find people to follow, tap the search icon in the menu at the bottom. Then type in their name in the search bar at the top. Tap People. When you find the profile of the user you want to follow, tap Follow to the right of their username. That user's post will then appear in your X following feed. There are a few different ways you can interact with other users' posts on X. You can tap the heart icon to like a post. Tap the message bubble icon to reply to a post. Tap the rotating arrows to repost it to your own feed or quote the post and add your own thoughts before reposting it. The number on the right side is the number of views this post has. To share a post, tap the share icon. Then you can share it in a direct message or to another social media app. To create your own posts on X, tap the plus sign in the bottom right corner. Then you can type in what you'd like your post to say. To add a voice note, tap the audio icon below. Then tap the record button to begin recording. Tap Done to stop recording and attach the voice note to your post. To attach a photo or video, tap the photo icon. Then select an image from your device's camera roll or tap the camera button to snap a new photo or video to share. To add a fun animated GIF, tap the GIF icon. Then you can browse popular GIFs or search for something specific. Tap a GIF to add it to your post. To run a poll through X, tap the poll icon. Then you can add a question and add up to four options for people to vote between. You can choose how long you want your poll to last by tapping Poll Length. If you'd like your post to share your location, tap the location icon. When you're ready to share your post to X, tap Post in the top right corner. You can see your own posts by going to your X profile. Tap your profile icon in the top left corner. Then select Profile. Here you can see your past posts, replies, highlights, media, and posts you've liked. You can edit your profile by tapping Edit Profile at the top. X also has a place to browse trending topics and news. If you tap the magnifying glass icon, you can browse topics for you, trending topics, news, sports highlights, and entertainment. If you tap a topic in one of these categories, you'll be taken to a feed of posts about it. In the Communities section, you'll find communities focused around specific topics or niches. You can browse suggested communities or search for a specific community you'd like to join. Tap a community name to check it out. If you'd like to join the group, tap Join. Posts shared in communities are publicly visible, so your followers will be able to see what you share, but only those within the community can reply and participate in the discussion. If you tap the bell icon, you'll be taken to the notification section. Here you can see interactions with posts you've shared and updates X thinks will interest you, as well as posts you've been mentioned in. The verified section is specifically for notifications from verified accounts, but you'll need a paid subscription to use this feature. The last section is for direct messaging. Tap the envelope icon to get to this section. Here you'll see a list of conversations you've had with your friends on X. You can start a new conversation by tapping the new message icon in the bottom right corner. Now type in the name of the user you want to chat with. If you'd like to create a group conversation, tap create a group. Then tap the names of the users you want to add to the group. Tap done to begin your conversation. 
Once in your chat, you can type in messages to send, attach photos, videos, and voice notes just like you can in posts. Tap the heart icon beside a message in your chat to react to it with an emoji. That does it for our beginner's guide to X. To learn more about using X, check out our playlist of X and previous Twitter tutorials. We'll have it linked in the description box below. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, we'd love it if you'd hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to our channel. We put out great new tech tutorials like this one every week.